So why should you come to the garden right now? You may say, well, the tulips are done and you're correct, but there is so much to see right now. We're just ablaze with great flowers and early spring foliage. One of my favorites that just is a nonstop blooming machine is this cool Chinese indigo, which is called Indigophora amblyantha. Sorry for that crazy Latin name, but it's just a blooming machine. It'll bloom all the way till frost. Okay, and just literally across the path from the Indigophora, we have these three beautiful plants here. This is one of the Sudata irises called Chance Beauty. Look at that lovely eye spot in those three beautiful petals. And then we have such a great landscape plant and wonderful native. This is Itea virginica. And this is one of several cultivars that are well known. It's known as Virginia Willow or Sweet Spire, Virginia Sweet Spire, and I love it. Really great plant for late spring bloom. And then, then we have the beautiful luscious foliage on this purple leaf contorted filbert or purple leaf Harry Lauder's walking stick. This is one called Red Majestic. And look at those leaves all crumpled up in those crazy zigzag stems. What a treat just here with these three beautiful plants. Okay, and here we've only walked like 50 feet. And then look at this beautiful patch of Echinacea pallida. That is the so-called pale coneflower. That's the one that's native here on the site where um, Tulsa Botanic Garden is located. And it's just such a lovely plant with those classic drooping ray flowers that are so beautiful. And those long leaves with those little hairs sticking out on the leaves. And then if you look right behind it, we have Oklahoma's only native palm, which is Sabal Minor. These were derived from seed collected from McCurtain County, which is the only county in which this plant grows natively in Oklahoma. And they have just done beautifully here in the Children's Discovery Garden. And again, just further down the garden path, we have this lovely foliage plant, which is also in bloom. This is an elderberry called black lace. And it's just done fabulous here. It likes kind of better soils than the native elderberry, but still, what a luscious plant. Almost has a Japanese maple texture. And right next to it, something we're so happy we can grow. We kind of had to look for this. This is a variegated sweet bay magnolia called Maddie Mae Smith, named after the mother of the person who found it sometimes called Mardi Gras, but look at this vivid golden yellow foliage with little green stripes down the center. Two great foliage plants. I'm such a fan of all of the honeysuckles, and this is a really great one you don't see enough in American gardens. It's a European one, the European woodbine, which is their native honeysuckle, and it's one called Graham Stuart Thomas, named after a great uh, late British plantsman who was an, uh, an expert on perennials. But look at the substance and this almost helicopter blade formation of the flowers, a lovely sweet fragrance. And one of the more interesting native trees we have growing in the Children's Discovery Garden is this beautiful black locust. Now this is a gold leaf selection called Freesia, F-R-I-S-I-A. 
uh, but it is a form of the native black locust. A lot of people know that. The wood is very durable and um, it's just looking perfect right now. Later in the season it'll turn green, but it's this beautiful chartreuse gold right now. Okay, and so here right along the sidewalk, not very far from the black locust we just showed you, is this wonderful ground cover verbena, which is verbena rigida. And look how beautiful it is. I mean, it'll just bloom and bloom and bloom. And if it ever gets where you don't want it, you just take the shovel and edit that part out and give it to your neighbor. So great ever blooming ground cover plant. Goes dormant in the winter, verbena rigida. So here we have a beautiful penstemon. So penstemons are also called beard tongues, which is a weird name, but um, and these are bred from the University of Nebraska. This one is called Dark Towers. Has this beautiful reddish purple foliage, these beautiful pale, to, pale pink to lavender pink flowers. And this is what it does at this time of year. The rest of the year, you just get the purple foliage, but it is a wow plant. Okay, and after walking through the garden looking at beautiful flowers and foliage, we can always just come and take a nice rest on one of the many benches here. So thank you for walking with me through the Children's Discovery Garden at Tulsa Botanic Garden. See you soon.